Hello folks and welcome back to Subnautica. It's morning here on Subnautica. I'm Subnautica World, I guess. Sun's rising. We're about to make ourselves a wonderful little creation. Go ahead and set up our mobile vehicle bay here. Just go ahead and push that out in the world. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and make our Cyclops. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Hey man, I'll have you know I have about 40 hours in the CMOC. That should totally count me as experienced, right? Maybe? That thing's gonna make a big splash, isn't it? Nice. Okay, that just sunk. How deep is that gonna go? I mean, it does look kind of cool. Oh, we have to board the Cyclops from underneath. Okay. There's the piloting bay under there. It's kind of neat. Uh, okay, so we board in here. Let's do that. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Kind of hate the voice. That was a weird slowdown there. Why is it slowing me down here? That was weird. I like it's trying to load the area or something. I have no idea. That's weird. Uh, so this goes nowhere. Oh, okay. That goes the ladder. Uh, so this is the engine, I guess. Weird. Okay. So this would be the... Oh, that's... Oh. We can dock the Seamoth with this? Or the prawn suit of it. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Cool. And here's where we pilot it. Uh, do we want to launch the prawn suit or the sea moth? Oh, there's that one like a sonar. This seems fancy. If I can change the color, we're definitely changing the color, right? We're changing the color. I mean, we all live in a yellow submarine. We got to do it. Got to do it. Uh, submarine name, we're going to call this uh, Beetle, obviously. Stripe wise, I don't think it matters, right? Let's uh, let's do something a little little daring. Let's do black. The other stripe is also gonna be black. See how that looks. Uh, so the modification station internal lighting is now off. Floodlights. Oh, those are the external floodlights. You always need the floodlights on. On the internal lighting. Okay, so you do that so that you don't have the reflection, I guess. Oh, that's how much health it has. Okay. How do we repair it later? That's a good question. Oh, except without any light, I can't see where I'm going. Okay, but how do we... So where's the freaking modification station? It's gotta be around. Maybe it's this thing? Decoy launcher. I kinda don't care. Fire extinguisher, that's always good. Oh, probably if we get hit by a lot of things? Yeah, okay. Now, like, ghost leviathans and shit will probably, like, mess us up. That kinda makes sense. I mean, it's cool here. Okay, get me out of here. There you go. Uh, okay, this goes straight up the bridge. So that's what this ladder's for. So over here's probably where... This is where we put either the prawn suit or the Seamoth, right? Let's see if we can dock the Seamoth. Let's see if that works. Hey, y'all, sir. Where are you? I've got a new home for you. At least for now. Still haven't found the actual Cyclops center, though. We'll see how this goes. So you... Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I was going to say the beetle now. That's cool. Okay, so now we'll bring you down here. Because you should be able to dock in here somewhere. Oh, right, there we go. There we go. Right in here. Oh, and it takes me straight up to the bridge. Nice. Okay, but that doesn't still answer my question of how the hell we modify things. Maybe the... Okay, access upgrades? That's the upgrades for the Elsa, though, right? Yeah, it's the upgrades for the Elsa. That doesn't help me. Doesn't let me access the... Oh, here we go. Cyclops Fabricator. That's what I needed. 
So I want the shield generator. So we need a power cell and the advanced, uh, no, the red wire kit? No, advanced wire kit. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Um, we need gold and silver. So I think most of this stuff is going to be over at probably danger base, I would guess. Let's pilot this up. It's going to be weird. Engine offline. We'll turn the engine off. Engine on. powering up. Now, the real trouble is that most of my routes go in some real shallow water. And I'm sure it'll be fine. So, you want to go to not north base, but danger base over there. Such a weird, weird piloting thing here. Uh, silent running I don't care about. External camera system? We do not have a decoy thing. That could be a problem. Oh, talk about smashing into fish. We are going to smash into so many fish. These fish have no idea what's coming to them. Oh, and the leviathans. We're totally going to smash into leviathans. It's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. But as long as we stay up here, we're probably fine. Right, we're pretty high up. Danger base is pretty low down, I think. As long as we don't try to go, like, too deep, I think this should be fine. We don't need anything fancy. We just need to be able to move around a little bit faster. I wouldn't exactly say this is super fast, but it's not slow. I don't see any indication of what powers this thing, though. Uh, can I actually descend? I don't see a descend thing. How do I descend? Oh, there we go. 98%. So we are powered by something. Um, so that's speed there. But I want to speed this up and go burning through our power for. Yeah, there's got to be a descend way somehow. But I have no idea how that will be descend. We're going to stay here at 15 meters, apparently. That's how that's going to happen. Uh, we can sound our horn. It seems like that would just frighten somebody. Oh, the... Hold on, the danger, the base is probably right below me. Pull back. Nah, uh, hop base is over there. Where the hell's danger base? There's lava base is way below us. What the hell? Okay, danger base is there. Okay, so we never haven't actually made it there yet. Hold on. Go that way. Try to get her some leviathans right above it. I have no idea how that we're supposed to descend. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We're not trying to descend. We're not trying to go anywhere special. Let's go ahead and sit right here. We'll go ahead and shut off the internal and external lights. They're naturally dark. Oh, wait. I don't want to... Hold on. I did the wrong thing. Hold on. Go back up the ladder. That's right. Because the Yalsa is right over here. That's what I want. Really dark in there. Okay. All systems online. So, sea smalls over there, which means the interface is right down here. So, what I want is a little bit more gold and enough silver to be able to make the advanced wiring kit. We should already have power cells, but if we don't, Welcome we can easily make them because we have plenty of batteries. I think we have enough for what we need here. I think I've got already got enough silver. Yeah, the Cyclops is weird. I'm not a descend. There's got to be a descend trick. I'm not knowing. I don't know yet. Okay, so electronics. That's where I get great. Give me everything here. Okay. So I think all I need is a power cell. That's all I need. Okay, so get rid of you. Get rid of you. And we just have this left. They have to have everything for it. I think we're set. Boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. And everyone in between. Alright, drink. Eat some food. 
Um, okay, I mean, the Cyclops the Dire was kind of just a big old waste. Right? We built it purely for the fact that we need to build a shield generator, and that's it. That's all we need. I mean, it is kind of cool. It's just not very fast, and it's kind of clumsy, and it, I have no idea how to use it. Uh, so it should be right above us. There it is. There it is. I mean, might as well go ahead and dock, right? Because that'll take us right up to the bridge where I need to be to be able to build the segment anyway. So suck me in here. There we go. It's very dark. Did I mention how dark it is? Because it's dark. Not you, but... Okay, bring me... Give me some power. Give me some light here. There we go. Okay, so I think it was over here, right? Yeah, here we go. This is it. All right, I need a power cell. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do I have any power cells? I said it should be easy, and then I didn't actually grab one. Um, so the problem is it's not going to take an ion power cell, which is what I've got right now. I think... Well, we've got a spare power cell in one of these places. I forgot where. Is it primary, or did I move it? It might still be primary. And that's where we have the power cell recharger. Um, which means that there is a spare power cell sitting there right now. We'll look over here in the, in the locker just to see if maybe I have an extra one, but I think that might be it. Aren't these power cells right here? Those are totally power cells right there. There you go. That's all I needed. Should have grabbed that first thing, but that's okay. Got it now. Back up to the beetle. That leviathan's about to smash into the beetle. Have a very bad day. Uh, so I need to move the beetle pretty soon. Come on, leviathan, you're in my way! Okay, you know what? I don't need to dock. I don't need to dock. I just need to get inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I shut off the lights. I shouldn't do that. There we go. Right. It would matter if I was going to actually use this long term, but it doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. This thing's powered by power cells. Okay. We can totally change these out for the ion types if we're going to last longer here, but we're not going to. This might be the last thing we do. Got it. Got it. Okay. Now we leave here forever and never talk about this area ever again. Uh, where'd my Elsa go? There it is. Okay, so we still need enamel glass. We have the computer chip. We need plasteel ingot, but I'm pretty sure we got most of what we need. I think we have the lithium in the space. The enamel glass is going to be the trickiest bit, but only because the stalker teeth are so damn hard to see. But not for any real reasons, right? Like, otherwise, we're fine. So I just need... Yeah, let's make sure we can make plasteel here. If we can't... Oh, we can. Okay, great. I was going to say, if we can't, we need to go elsewhere for lithium and titanium. But that's all we need there. Good, good. So yeah, then it's just the glass we need, right? I don't think we have the quartz here. I don't see it. Do we have any quartz in here? Nope, can't make the glass. Okay, so we need quartz. I can totally make that happen. 
There's quartz frickin' everywhere. Now, the stalker teeth are a little bit more of a problem, but we just need to go in that general area and we'll be fine. Alright, so general area would be... Uh, anywhere there's going to be... Uh, anywhere there's going to be stalkers, so... That should be, if we go towards North Base, I think we're going to see a seaweed area. That should definitely have some stalkers near it. Of course, it suddenly got dark again. Okay, so here's the seaweed area. Come on, stalker teeth. Just looking for some beautiful little stalker teeth. Or even some ugly stalker teeth. I mean, I'm not going to be picky. There's a cavity-driven one right there, because the stalker loves his sugar treats. I mean, take what I can get, you know? We'd have to actually, like, find a stalker first. Last one we actually lucked out because there was a stalker around, and he, uh... Actually, I don't know if that was luck or the way it's supposed to be. But he was, like, messing around with a bunch of titanium, and we just picked up the titanium and picked up his tooth, and it was all good do the same thing again, that'd be fantastic. There's a stalker right there. Where do you suppose his teeth are? There's titanium right there. So he has definitely been stockpiling it. Let me get up here and see if maybe I can grab some of this stuff. Maybe there's a stalker just underneath it. Nope. Go over here. Nope. I'm gonna stalk her around. Does he appreciate that I took his titanium, or does he hate that? I can tell. Didn't want to fight me, so that's something. Let's see if maybe the light's a little bit better to find these stalker teeth, just in case they're around. Maybe he doesn't drop them that often, though. Maybe he's only drops them like once a year, and I've already picked this one up. It's possible. I thought I saw something there for a minute. Maybe not. Yeah, he's just kind of hanging out. Which I appreciate. I'm supposed to be over, like, here. Just bit some random thing. You just bite your friends. Don't bite your friends. Oh, you know, that's a creep vine that's gradually getting there. Isn't that? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, don't. I'm not your friend. Don't bite me either. Okay? I mean, Granny didn't take very much health off of me, which I do appreciate. But still. No biting your friends, no biting your enemies, no biting anybody, okay? Biting bad. Stop it. Stop it. Well, if there's a tooth around here, it's lost forever. Let me go back to the Yelsa. So it's not here. But maybe there's another place we can go. Grab some extra titanium in case we need it, though. That could be okay. Um, okay, there is a stalker egg here, I think. Is that a stalker egg? It's a creature egg. We don't actually know if it's a stalker egg. Let's look around and see if maybe I can find some stalker teeth. Sometimes they're obvious. Sometimes not so much, though. Or actually, usually not so much. There's stalkers everywhere. Tell me there's no stalker teeth. You know, I could disable, or I could disassemble, rather, the scanner and go searching for stalker teeth, but that seems like the hard way to do it. Let me go deeper in. Maybe we'll find some stalker teeth around here. There's more metal pieces. Let me... You just have a better luck to my exit. I don't need the metal salvage. Hope it's not underneath the metal salvage, though. Hoping for just a indicator. Oh, wait, there it is, there it is. Got it, nice. Determination and persistence, my friends. Determination and persistence. Okay, so we wanna go... Where do we wanna go? I wanna build it at the Neptune. Um, technically speaking, I guess Danger Base is closer to the Neptune? 
Uh, Danger Base is further away than Neptune is. Let's go. Let's go Danger Base, not Hot Base. So we can build it at Danger Base. Oh, I need the quartz, though, don't I? Right, I need two pieces of quartz. Should be easy enough to keep our eye out for some quartz. And we build that last piece. My guess is there's one more section we need before we can actually take off. But we're very close. I'm a little sad we didn't get too much time to play with the Cyclops, but... So, guys, oh, there we go. There's some quartz right there. So one quartz. I thought I saw a second one. Don't... I wish I could punch these guys. I don't access the vehicles for it, just so That's it goes. Alright, quartz. There we go. Another thing quartz down here. That's what I saw, I think. Alright, down there, sir. There we go. Thank you. That'll do it. That'll get us what we need. Get back over to the base. Charge our baby up. Shouldn't charge your baby. Turns out, most children... Don't run electricity. Well, it's not true, right? Everybody runs electricity, sort of. Just not, you know, direct current. Or, for that matter, alternating current. Either way, it turns out to be bad for children. Um, um, um. Uh, go ahead and... Now, go ahead and make a titanium and get out of the titanium I've... Actually, make the titanium I've got into actual titanium. Go ahead and make an ingot out of that. Which I probably don't need, but you never know. Spare ingot couldn't hurt. And then go ahead and make the enamel glass that I actually need. Okay, make the glass first. Weirdo. Then make the enamel glass. It has no problem doing that sometimes. Other times it's like, nope, can't do it. Don't know what you're talking about. Very, very strange. Uh, a couple more nom noms to be on the safe side. Good to go. Let's go to the Neptune and build us a whatever the fuck this module was. It looks like the cockpit. So it seems like that might be it. Also seems like we might need to fuel this thing. Maybe not. I mean, the Cyclops came pre-powered, so that was kind of nice. So maybe the Neptune does too. Maybe the Neptune is running on, I don't know, wishes and dreams? Because that's kind of all we got. There was a, there was this paper I read a long time ago. I think it was like 15, 20 years ago. But basically it said that if we, if Earth had basically kept all of our fossil fuels in reserve until we'd reached the space age, like don't use them at all. No coal, no oil plants, nothing. And we kept them all in reserve until we reached the technological apex of being able to go to space. We would be able to use fossil fuels to colonize the solar system um, in like 50 years or something. But the fact that we had already used so much oil and so much of the other um, uh, fossil fuels made it impossible to do that type of thing now. I don't know how true that is. It's an interesting thing to think of. Like here, this is a brand new virgin world, right? Never been touched by humans before. We could theoretically, like, you know, use as much fuel here as we possibly can and maybe get to space. Now, hopefully that's not necessary. Because, you know, we've already got enough technology to get here anyway. So here's a new question. How do we get in? Like, I'm not going to be able to jump that high. There's got to be a ladder or something, right? That I'm just not seeing from here. It's got to be. I, mean, I can't even see what they're building right now. Oh, there we go. I think they're done. I think they're done. Maybe they're done? Maybe when they come back down, they're done. Staying up there for quite a while. Okay. One rocket online. Oh, it's just done. It's just done. Oh, we get to make a feller. Okay, well, we gotta do we gotta do red, right? We gotta do red. The base is red, the stripe is just black, the other stripe is also red, I think. Let's 
do red. Red, black, red, black, red, black. And then the name is going to be in white, because that makes sense. And we're going to call this... Oh, no, it won't fit. Oh, that's so, so dirty. I hate when they have arbitrary name limits. All right. We'll do, uh, we'll do, a, we'll do an Irish one. Peace overse. There we go. Launch and ready to go, people. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to get in. I also don't know where the whole. Uh, oh, here we go. We just go in the gantry. That totally makes sense. Um, so we've been seeing a lot of time capsules around. I have no idea how we build a time capsule. Is that a thing? Is that what I do? I mean, I can, I can go up, I guess. Actually, here's the elevator. I can just hit this. Boop. Okay, well, I appreciate I'm not climbing a ladder all the way up. So that's great. There's nothing there for a time capsule. That's just the instructions. Yeah, I don't see how they would do the time capsule. I have no idea. My guess is it would happen as soon as I launch, right? Yeah, that seems pretty likely. Okay, but I don't really have anything on me I want to hand over to anybody. Right? And all the stuff I have here is kind of garbage. Alright, if I'm going to actually hand over something to somebody, if I want to actually... Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me drop back down. Let me think about this first. If we actually launch, and we send off a time capsule as we launch, which seems pretty likely, because we don't seem to have another recipe for it. I think we've got to, like, give something special, right? So before we leave, let's do something special. Let's go ahead and make, um... How about an orange tablet? I think that'd be good. Let's make an orange tablet for somebody. Because that was really annoying to find for ourselves. And we'll just make somebody's life a little bit easier. So, orange tablet. I'm pretty sure we have the spare nickel ore... Where does spare nickel ore at? It's around here somewhere. Uh, I mean, danger base would be the most likely, right? Yeah, let's go there first. Let's do a danger base. I'm trying to think of what else we'd want to do. Oh, the iron power cell out of the also would be good. Because what else is the also going to do, right? Yeah, we can totally do the iron power cell out of the Elsa. That'd be fine. That'd be a nice boost for somebody. Like, give them a good... Uh, like, even if they don't have... If they're not using the Seamoth and they're using the Prawn Suit, it'd still be good for the Prawn Suit. I mean, the Prawn Suit requires two power cells, but having one of them being Ion-based would be a huge boon, I think. And we could also take the... Uh, one of the modules out of the sea small that would actually help out too. The modules in here could be helpful. Like the the death module on the sea must is actually pretty good. We've actually been able to take this a lot of places because of that. It's not terrible. Yeah. Okay. So we can we can definitely cannibalize our stuff here. Like we don't really do not need don't need to just keep this stuff around for sure. I think we have nickel here, so I think we can just build an orange tablet and be able to hand that off to somebody. Hopefully. Yeah, okay, there's a bunch of nickel in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this will work. This will work. Uh. Personal? No, it's not deployable either, although a beacon's not a horrible idea. Let's make a beacon. Yeah, you can't have enough beacons. Putting that in the time capsule actually might not be a terrible thought. So there, there's a beacon. Uh, equipment, there we go. Okay, we can actually do a couple of these. Let's do orange tablet for sure. Because that's handy. I'm also going to do blue tablet. It's totally a cheat. But if somebody knows the way to go, they can just have a blue tablet and be good to go. I'm okay with that. Just have them cheat a little bit. It's totally fun. Alright, drink a little bit of water. 
tablet. We have some stuff that we can actually hand off to them, which would be great. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. I don't need a lantern fruit will keep. Yeah, I don't think it'll keep. I mean, the time capsule might just suspend things in time, but having anything with a decay rate seems like a cheat somehow, so let's not worry about that. Repair this. Good to go. We just need to remember to take the module out of here. Do we want to rip any modules out of the prawn soup before we go? Let's take a look. Okay, upgrades. We've got hull reinforcement, prawn center reactor, death module, jumpsuit, and drill arm. Let's grab the death module. That seems like that could be pretty handy to hand somebody. Okay. Assuming they let us do it, right? Like, there's some stuff they may just have completely said you can't hand that over to anybody. So, maybe, like, the tablet isn't even going to be a thing. It would be nice if we could do it, but you never know. Let's see how it goes. I, mean, I think we're just getting out of here. We are going to fly. It's going to be great. We're gonna finally leave this slime ball, this toxic slime ball of doom. Which, to be fair, is no longer toxic because we helped purify it, I think. At least it's gonna be gradually purified. The quarantine's eventually gonna be over. It's just gonna take some time. But eventually, those little, I don't know, brown pustules that the Leviathan guys give off, they'll eventually disperse across the ocean. It'll just take some time. It's too bad you can't carry that stuff with you, but I guess if you could, then you could leave it in the time capsule, and that would kind of negate the whole, like, story here, so that's fair. Alright, is there a ladder over on the side? There's totally ladders on every single side. Okay, so we can just park right over here. Um, I want to grab the modules here, please. Yeah, there we go, access upgrades. I want to yank out this thing. I want to yank out this thing. Heck, this thing too. What the heck? We'll grab all the modules. Maybe we can put them all in the time capsule. All right, here we go. Does look damn impressive, though, doesn't it? I like the red and black. That's really cool. I, th I like to let you color these things. Totally happy with it. All right, up we go. I'm really glad that I put this near the island. Otherwise, it'd just be fog in the distance and you wouldn't get, like, the nice view we have here. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go. Soon we can go. It'd be really funny if we, like, need fuel here. Oops. Okay, climb up the ladder. There's storage in here. Why would you want storage? You can just put stuff in here. Okay. Communication array. Um, yeah. Communications systems array active. Seems like a good idea for hydraulics too. Let's do that. Pressurizing hydraulics. Good idea, have the auxiliary power, I suppose. Auxiliary power unit online. Okay, is there anything else I need to do? I mean, there's storage everywhere, which was weird. It says open here, but I can't actually open here. So I guess we go up the ladder. Probably a good idea to, you know, be able to breathe. I'm picky that way, you Life know? Life support systems online. Okay, good. Oh, we can totally prepare a time capsule. Yes! Okay, let's see what we can put in here. Okay, I would like to put in you, 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 and you, and a beacon. Oh, well, we can't do too many things. Okay, we can drop the storage module and put in a beacon, because beacons are always handy back. So that's good to go. Good. Um, I don't think I've actually... I have not taken any pictures whatsoever. 
<laughs> so much for that. Okay. Yep. No pictures whatsoever. That's okay. That happens. Um, I'm glad I'm finally leaving this slimy... Slimy? Slimy. Slimy? Slimy, right? I think it's that one. The slimy... Or this toxic slime ball. That's what we're going to do. Toxic slime ball. It's been a good time. It's been a long time. And it's been a good long time. Make sure you visit the mushroom forest for all your Cyclops needs. Use the attached to find friends and make it away. Or actually, just find friends and uh, influence the world. Have fun and don't get dead. Or actually, don't uh, don't get eaten. Well, that's done. Sadly, I can't put in an image, but I think it's still okay. It's status two out of three. I'm hoping that doesn't impact it too much. I just never took a picture. Is the thing. So, hopefully that's not a problem. Hmm, not a green check mark. Maybe I need a picture. All right, let's do, um, let's leave. Thing is, it's nighttime right now. It's not gonna work for me, is it? I mean, I could take a picture at nighttime, I guess, just not much. Oh, well, that's actually kind of a cool picture. Hold on, let me get over here. And F11. There. Screenshot saved to PDA. I can totally put it in that picture. That'll be great. It doesn't give anything away. It's not as impressive as some of the pictures we saw of some people's bases, but still pretty awesome. Okay, over the time thing. Our time capsule. There we go. Or the image. I have the one thing there. Um, select it. There we go. Checked. All right. Status is ready. Huzzah! Time capsule ready. Okay, we got that going. Sure. Boot up primary CPU. Sounds like a good idea. Primary computer systems active. I mean, it should be already since it's talking to me. But okay, I think we've hit all the buttons. All systems are go for lift off. Great, let's go. Let's do it. Launch the rocket. Let's go. At least my character knows what to do. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. What do you want? A thumbs up? Let's go. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, um, 6, probably 5, like... 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a lot of asteroid Yoshi. life. Approaching orbital debris field. Oh, time we got shields. Oh, well, that's a problem. It's, it's not important, right? We don't need Orbital. that. Fine. Debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. That's awesome. That's a great look at the planet. I don't think we saw that first, right? We were just crashing. We didn't know it was that. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three. Two. One. And there we go. You know, I really thought we were going to be waiting for rescue, but no. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different. But they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. 
We are different, but we go together. Sure, I didn't even eyes anyway. Thanks for blinding me there, but good. We, we finally get title. That was fun. That was good. Kind of sad I didn't get to really explore to see what the Cyclops could do, but other than that, that was actually a lot of fun. I was a little frustrated sometimes that we need to actually look at the, uh, you know, actually look at some guides and figure out where to go, but it's a big place. It's a big place. If I had actually, um, if I'd put scanners more, oh, now the music's gonna pick up, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> we can rock along with it. That's good. No, that was a good game. Um, I hear unfortunate things about the sequel, but I'm glad I experienced this. This is good. I had a lot of fun with it. No actual jump scares, as I was worried about, so all good. Somebody likes their funk. Now, this was a lot of fun. I love playing survival games. I love building. The building mechanism here was like super easy to get used to. That's great. Kind of sad, and again, that I didn't get to do the Cyclops more, but the base building was great, the area was fantastic. Yeah, this is actually just real well done. I give that a solid 9 out of 10. It was really, really well done. Only minor complaints. And really, I could see, like, getting completely lost in it, too. Like, I could see just spending 100 hours in this. Just completely just putzing around and doing stuff. Combined Platus is good. Uh, but if I had just... If I had shut off any of the survival mechanisms, like for food and water and stuff, I think we could have probably spent 100 hours there and been totally fine and not had to worry about anything at all except for like powering the base as long as we needed to. But aside from that... Um, uh, the survival mechanism was probably a little bit too heavy, but I mean, that's a minor complaint. Actually, it was totally solid, and I had a lot of fun with this. Welcome home to all terror. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. <laughs> now that, that would be a sequel. Could you imagine? I wonder if that's actually the plot of Subnautica Below Zero. I don't actually know, but it would kind of make sense right because there's all that stuff that we have been i'm actually kind of surprised it didn't come up with a uh, total for everybody individually yeah that'd be a lot of that'd be a lot of calculations but like every diamond you picked up or every bit of titanium you use has like a dollar value to it you could probably calculate the value for every single player if you wanted to but then a trillion credits wow like, there's um, Hard Space Shipbreaker, right? Puts you at a billion dollars in debt, which is already daunting enough, but some people have actually cleared it. But a trillion? I don't even know how you would begin to tackle that kind of debt. Like, you'd celebrate after the first billion, but you're only one one hundredth of the way there. That'd be a hell of an idea for a sequel, though. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Subnautica. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.